everybody, welcome back to the She Shed. Today's tutorial is going to be on this beanie. Now this beanie I've made to go with my Mexican poncho, which I will leave a link to the, um, I'll leave the link below to that tutorial, which will also have another link below to the mitten tutorial, which is also to go with the Mexican poncho. Because I have made this beanie using the cake self-striping yarn, you don't know what colours you're going to end up with your beanie. So um, this one was to go with the green and blue um, and um, that yellowy colour um, poncho. And what I'm going to do now is make the beanie to go with the ready poncho. So let's get started with this. So you need another one of your cake yarns that is the same that you made with your poncho. It doesn't have to be, but I'm trying to match it, so that's what I'm going to do. Six millimeter hook, and you, if you would like to attach a button to go with the buttons that are on your poncho, then you will also need a button. To start off, you will need to chain as many chains that will go around your head. So for me, it was 58 stitches. So chain your 58 stitches or whatever will fit comfortably around your head without making it really tight. Once you have made your chain long enough to go around your head, chain two. Now we are going to do a herringbone stitch in every single stitch but we're not going through the V at the front we're going to turn over and go through the lump at the back. We are going to miss the first two stitches and go into the third stitch from the hook. So one, two, third stitch, turn over, find that lump yarn over and going in to the loop on the back of the stitch yarn over pull your yarn through now we're going to get that loop and pull it underneath this second loop on the hook so just slide underneath that second loop yarn over pull through the first loop yarn over pull through two and that is how you make a herringbone stitch so let's do that again Yarn over into the loop on the back of your stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and we're pulling that same loop underneath the second loop on the hook. Yarn over through the first loop, yarn over through the two loops on the hook. One more time, yarn over into the loop on the back of the stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Then we're going underneath the second loop on the hook yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over and pull through the two. So continue that all the way along and then you are going to repeat this another four times. As in we're going to have in the end five rows of herringbone stitch and that will make your rim. So this is where you can see on the beanie five rows of herringbone stitch and then we go to the main body of the beanie. So I'm going to leave you to continue doing your five, do, finishing this row of herringbone and then I'll show you how to join the two together so you can continue working your other four rows. At the end of your first row, we're going to join the rim together. So just make sure that it's straight and that it is not twisted at all. Bring it together and make sure your yarn is at the front. Slip into the back of the first stitch and come to the front. Pull your yarn, grab your yarn and pull your yarn through and then through this, 
stitch on your hook and that's making your slip stitch. Now we are going to chain two, turn your work. Now because we are doing herringbone stitch, we need the stitches to run one way for one row and the other way for the next row to get that stitch effect. So we have to turn our work. We can't just keep going around and around. So one row will go that way and the next row we turn and we go that way. So for row number two, now we've joined, we're going to chain two and continue with our herringbone stitch in every stitch for this round and when you have finished this round I will meet you back here at the end of row 2. At the end of your second row at this point let's sew the bottom together. So get your yarn needle and just go in and sew it as neatly as you can. Don't be too incredibly tight, just nice and neat. And then weave in your loose end Alright, and cut the end off. Okay, so remember when you're joining the rows together, you're going to have the yarn at the front. So come through the back of the first stitch, like so. Grab your yarn, pull your yarn through, through the loop on the hook, and there's your slip stitch. Now we're going to chain two, turn your work and continue your next row of herringbone and keep doing this for the next three rows making a total of five rows. Okay, so Continue this round and the next two rounds and I'll meet you at the end of your fifth row of herringbone. When you have come to the end of your fifth row, we have finished the rim and we are now going to change to the next style of stitch, which is the rest of the beanie. So there's your rim and there's the rest of the beanie. And this is going to now change to half double crochet. For my beanie here, I did about 12 rows before I started to do my several de um, decrease rows. However, do as many rows that will fit to your head. So let's start off by chaining one and we still will need to turn our work on every row. So turn your work. And we are now going to just do a half double crochet in each stitch. So a half double crochet is yarn over into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through all three on your hook. Yarn over into the stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over all three, pull through all three stitches on the hook. So work your 12 rows or as many rows as will go to around your head but not close off. So if you are following along with me that should be about 12 rows. So I will meet you here at the end of this row to show you how we finish off this row and turn the end of your sixth row, which is your first row of half double crochet, we're going to join the rows together like we have been doing all along. 
So making sure our yarn is at the front. Slip in to the first stitch, pull your yarn through, pull through for to make a slip stitch. Chain one, turn and continue doing your half double crochets. Now as I said, for my one I did about 12 rows before I came to the rows that I need to do for decrease. If you're following along with me, then I will meet you back here at the end of your 12th row. Otherwise, keep doing as many rows as will fit your head or for your desired beanie. So if you want to do a slouch beanie for example, do more rows. And then when we get to the end of the 12th row or the row that you want to start decreasing at, I will meet you back here for the decrease rows. After your 12 rows of half double crochet, we are going to chain one, turn up your work around, and then we are going to decrease at every fourth stitch. So one, two, three, now we're going to decrease. Go into the stitch, pull your yarn through, go into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, and then pull through all three. Do another three stitches, and then we're going to decrease in the next two. So yarn, put your hook in to your stitch, pull yarn through, hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn through and then grab your yarn and pull through all three loops on your hook. Do the next three stitches. And then the next stitches, two stitches is a decrease. Yarn in, grab your yarn through, yarn into the next stitch, grab your yarn through and then pull the yarn through all three on the hook. And next three stitches is normal, and then the next is a decrease. So yarn in, pull your yarn through, yarn into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, grab your yarn, and pull through the three on the hook. All right, I'm going to leave you to finish this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. At the end of the row slip stitches you've normally been doing chain one turn your work and this row just do as your normal half double crochet row no decrease in this row so I will meet you back here at the end of this row and join your row as normal with a slip stitch chain one turn your work and this time we are going to decrease on every second row so double crochet double crochet and then a decrease slip your hook in pull the yarn through go to the next stitch slip your hook in pull your yarn through yarn over and through the three stitches so now we are only going to do this in every third stitch so decrease decrease and decrease all right I'll meet you back at the end of this row and our last row is now going to be a decrease in every second stitch And at the end of this row, we are going to tie off and close up the hole. So I will meet you back here at the end of this decrease row. 
Okay, so at the end of that row, leave a tail long enough to go around the top of your beanie. Grab your yarn, pull it through and just pull straight through. Get your yarn needle. Thread your yarn needle. And then work your way weaving your needle in and out along the top of your beanie. Now at this point do decide which is going to be the inside and which is going to be the outside because I like, well if you're like me, I like to sew my beanie tight on the inside hmm. <laughs> All right. we'll make this side the inside sometimes it's hard to choose because they look good on either side alright pull tight don't pull so so tight that you're going to break the break the, the thread but pull tight enough and then start sewing your hole together and sew as many times as you feel closes that hole up for you and go back and forth be in as many directions as you feel comfortable and then Cut off, turn your beanie inside out to the right way and there you have your beanie all finished. Now if you would like to put a button on it like we have on the poncho then grab your button and sew your button onto your beanie. Well I hope you have enjoyed doing this very simple beanie to match the poncho in and I will put a link to the tutorial of the poncho down below as well as a tutorial for the mittens that will also match this beanie and the poncho. If you do make this I'd absolutely love to see a photo of it so please feel free to message me a photo or send a photo to my Instagram account lucky underscore platypus1. Otherwise everybody have a great day and I hope to see you again in another one of my tutorials and until then bye everybody.